Hello there. Hi everyone. Welcome to your Wellness Wednesday. You're here with Chelsea Marie from ChelseaMarieCoaching.com and today I just want to share some information with you guys about alpha lipoic acid. So what do you know about alpha lipoic acid? Have you ever taken this before in a supplement form? Have you read anything about it? What have you heard and what do you know? I would love to hear what you know about it. Um, so when I came across alpha lipoic acid, I was about early 20s, maybe about 21, so about nine years ago. And at that time, I had really bad skin. Now my skin was extremely, oh hi Mary, thanks for joining. Um, my skin was extremely oily and as you know, oily skin is very acne prone skin. So I always was getting, you know, random breakouts and my skin was just overall inflamed. Oh hi Judy, thanks for joining. Um, so at that time in my life, I was really sick of it and I wanted a beautiful complexion. That was my main intention. So I went out, I bought a bunch of books, written either by a dermatologist or um, the one that I actually came across wasn't a dermatologist. It was actually Nicholas Paracone, who's an, who's an MD. So this book called The Wrinkle Cure, if you ever get your hands on it, it's an amazing read and it simply just explains how we can age gracefully. And one of the main ingredients that he really um, talked about, or I shouldn't say ingredients, Ingredients. One of the main nutrients that he talked about was alpha lipoic acid. Now he doesn't talk about a whole whack of different nutrients. He really focuses on the main most powerful nutrients that we can consume or that we can supplement on for like the greatest, you know, impact for our health. And alpha lipoic acid was one of them. And that one just always stood out over the years. And the more I keep learning about it, the more I realize just how essential and how amazing it is. So first I want to start off by saying that that your body naturally produces it, but it doesn't produce huge amounts of it. So when we consume it either in a supplement form or by just focusing on incorporating foods, a wide variety of foods in our diet that are high in this natural nutrient, we actually supply our blood and our body with higher amounts of it, allowing it to do more of what it wants to do for our body. So as I mentioned, I originally started incorporating it simply for purposes for my skin. And one thing I really loved about it was alpha lipoic acid is so unique when applied topically because when we apply it topically to our skin, it actually increases an enzyme called nitric oxide. Um, nitric oxide synthesis specifically and this controls circulation so when we apply it topically and on our skin you'll find that almost immediately from just using it our skin can go from like a dull complexion to just looking more youthful more vibrant more glowing as you know circulation is what allows more nutrients to flow to the skin and at that point our skin just has more of what it needs so it does an amazing job with giving you that glowing complexion it does an amazing job for also inflammation. It's an amazing anti-inflammatory. So if you have puffiness around your eyes or if you have heavy bags, if you have enlarged pores, that's really what I was looking for was the enlarged pores. Um, it's amazing for that. But on top of that, it does an amazing job for fine lines and wrinkles. Now, when you, if you, if your goal is to focus on fine lines and wrinkles at this point, you would really want to focus on not just using it topically, but also taking it internally. So what happens is, is in our body, when we have excess amounts of sugar, they start to link onto proteins. So depending on what kind of protein the sugar is linking onto, it's going to it's going to determine how it's going to affect your body. So as an example, if you have, you know, excess sugar floating around and it's attaching onto proteins behind your eye, you're actually going to start losing eyesight. You're going to start to notice degeneration of your eyes and the tissues of your eyes. So those who are diabetic, who have, you know, lots of amounts of sugar in their bloodstream that isn't actually being metabolized properly, what happens is, is they can start to lose eyesight overall, or even just have really poor eyesight to begin with. So another op another thing that could happen happen is when um, sugar attaches itself to the protein in your blood sorry, in your red blood cell, which is known as the hemoglobin, it actually could cause anemia. So your protein in your red blood cell, the hemoglobin part of it, is actually what links onto oxygen and allows the cell to carry oxygen throughout your body. So if you now have a sugar molecule, you know, latching onto this hemoglobin protein, it can't properly, you know, effectively transport oxygen around your body. So what happens is when um, sugar attaches itself to collagen, collagen is your 
skin protein. It's what your skin is mainly made of. So when sugar attaches itself to the collagen, it starts to create wrinkles. It starts to give you that sagging look. Overall, it just really starts to give you that aging appearance on your skin. So when we consume foods that are high in alpha lipoic acid or we take it as a supplement, the alpha lipoic acid actually goes in and it breaks apart this bond that the sugar creates when it latches onto the protein. Not only does it break it apart, but it also prevents it from happening. So as I was reading this book, I just was so amazed at how it does so much on an anti-aging side. So you'll probably notice that when you go into um, like, you know, whether it's like a dermatologist's office or if you're looking at high end, you know, skincare, alpha lipoic acid is typically one of those main ingredients. So you're going to want to make sure that there's a good quality quality of it, but also a good enough quantity for it to really make that difference on your skin with your complexion. Now, another thing about alpha lipoic acid is it's an amazing antioxidant. So as you know, vitamin C is a very powerful antioxidant. However, it is a water soluble antioxidant. What makes alpha lipoic acid so unique is that it is both water soluble and fat soluble, which means that it doesn't just protect the outside of your cells, it actually goes in to your cells and it can protect your cell internally in every single direction. This is huge. Not a lot of um, antioxidants will actually do this. So you'll find that on the shelves you can buy vitamin C ester. Um, you can also find vitamin C liposomal forms. So what they're doing is they're now manipulating vitamin C to become a fat soluble. Well, alpha lipoic acid is already naturally a fat soluble antioxidant. And because it is a natural fat soluble antioxidant, it actually crosses the blood brain barrier, which is why it's so amazing for people who struggle with other Alzheimer's, memory problems or if you've had any kind of trauma or damage to your brain. So on top of that, um, alpha lipoic acid was, the, was originally discovered I believe in like 1951 and researchers found that it was a crucial component in the cell's ability to produce energy. So what happens is, is in your cell you have what's called is what you have is um it's called the mitochondria. So with the mitochondria, the mitochondria simply determines how effective your cell is going to perform its duties. So if you have a healthy, very efficient mitochondria in your cell, it's going to allow for more nutrients to come into the cell. It's going to allow for the cell to remove waste at a better uh, rate as well. And on top of that, it's going to replace damaged components a lot more efficiently. So if you think of, you know, you know, when those or when anyone is either diagnosed with cancer or whatnot, damage has now been done in the cell to the DNA because it's now replicating um, at a rate um, that is now not only too fast, but it's also replicating a cell that has actually been damaged. So the actual, in like the actual cell, the alpha lipoic acid is not only going to help the cell itself to effectively fight off oxidative stress, um, you know, internally and also outside of the cell, but it's also going to help the cell to effectively function. It's going to help it to, like I said, absorb nutrients, but to also repair itself a lot better. One other thing that's also really cool about alpha lipoic acid is that it actually enhances the performance of um, vitamin C as well of, as well as vitamin E and also glutathione. These are like, you know, three of your body's other main antioxidants as well. Okay, so for food components, if you are looking to incorporate alpha lipoic acid into your body, if you find that you want these benefits, then definitely look at incorporating more broccoli, peas, carrots, Brussels sprouts. Uh, what else did I have here? Oh yes, spinach. Spinach, these are all amazing forms of foods that are higher in alpha lipoic acid. Now, once again, your body does naturally create it, but it doesn't create large amounts of it. So to really make sure that your body has a enough of this antioxidant, especially, you know, when you think about how many toxins we're surrounded by, whether it's in, you know, crappier, lower end quality cosmetics, which is probably about 90% of what's on the shelf out there, to be honest. Um, when we're looking at, you know, quality of air, um, depending on your tap water, you know, depending on where you live, if you're consuming foods that are not organic, if your foods have herbicides and pesticides, if you're consuming meats that have antibiotics, that have, um, 
have had hormones injected into them, you know, all these things start to create damage to your cell in your body. So your body needs antioxidants like specifically alpha lipoic acid to really reverse all the oxidative stress that it creates on your cell. Now, one thing to keep in mind too is you know, when it comes to aging, what I have read in almost every single article is that it all comes down to the health of your mitochondria. As I mentioned, you know, your mitochondria is the furnace in your cell. It determines how effective your cell is actually going to perform its duties. So if you want your cell, you know, metabolizing your foods properly, if you want your cell, you know, effectively, you know, removing waste from your body, you have to make sure that you supply it with the nutrients that it needs. Hi, hi, Cassandra. So nice to see you. One of those nutrients specifically being alpha lipoic acid. So as I mentioned, look to incorporate more spinach, more broccoli, more carrots, more peas. Beets are also really high in alpha lipoic acid as well. Organ meats also have good amounts of alpha lipoic acid. They are quite high. So if you do eat organ meats, I really highly recommend that you make sure that it is an organic, grass-fed, um, coming from a grass-fed animal, no antibiotics, um, no injections whatsoever. So if you are purchasing meat that is local to your country, if you live here in Canada, I don't believe that they inject them with hormones. I believe, um, as far as I know, only the States and other countries will do that. I don't believe that Canada does. Um, I believe it is strongly against our regulations. However, antibiotics, I believe, are still being used. So really make sure to ask, you know, whoever you're purchasing your meat from, just ask them, you know, about the company, where they get their, you know, how their animals are raised. Um, so at the end of the day, if they're not willing to answer the questions, chances are it's probably not that great of a source. Now, I'm sure that those of you here in Kelowna are very familiar with Nature's Fair. I know that they have an excellent source of different types of uh, meat and produce, so you can definitely go in there and you know that whatever you are purchasing is always going to have a high quality um, option for you. And then when it comes to supplementation, AOR um, is by far one of my top favorite companies for um, majority supplements. Now, alpha lipoic acid, when you do purchase it on the shelf, it's not gonna be a food form, it will be a pharmaceutical grade. So I don't recommend taking this in very high doses. At the end of the day, you don't even need it in very high doses. When you purchase it, you'll probably find that most bottles have between 30 to 50 milligrams per capsule. Um, most bottles probably tell you one to two a day. As far as I know, you know, 100 milligrams is like the max that you'll wanna do in the supplement form. If you do take it on a daily base, I Really don't recommend ever doing supplements on a daily base unless you know you are working with someone specifically um, like a professional whether it's a health coach nutritionist or a doctor because then they can really help to monitor to you if you have something going on like if you are diabetic alpha lipoic acid is amazing for those who are diabetic in that case you'd probably do larger doses but once again you would have to speak to your healthcare practitioner so they can really work with you and monitor you um, with what you are going through Anyways, that is the chat for today. Um, once again, let me know what you know about alpha lipoic acid. Maybe I missed something. I know that it does so many other things in the body. These are just the top three that I found that were really intriguing to me. And when people come to me to purchase it, these are usually the main reasons that they want to also use it for. Um, anyways, so I hope you guys have an awesome Wednesday and I will be back here next Wednesday on the live. Bye.